great part is she emails and says, hey, I'm looking forward to moving forward with your cybersecurity proposal. I'm like, wow, crazy, because I was just thinking about her when you were talking about this. And then she says her book, her bookkeeper and accountant says it's a lot of money. Is there any way we can do it for a little less? Right, basically, uh, and we're talking like two hundred and eighty dollars less. So it's not even like a big deal. Mm -hmm. I know the. I think I know the Easton University response is a straight no, or what would you like to take out of it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of wanted to run it through because she's tied to another prospect um, who's a, an even larger deal, her husband's company. So that's kind of how we're we're getting both kind of at the same time. So kind of wanted to get your opinion and, and your view on this. Yeah, okay, so you hit two of them. I'm gonna give you a third one. I'm okay with either of these, right? My bookkeeper says it's a lot of money. Now, is, 200, is 280 material to you or is it not material to you? It sounds like it's not that material to you. No. Okay, and you want the business? Yep. Okay, here's the problem though. If you just go, yeah, I can take the 280 off. Best worst case is she's gonna be like, well, shoot, should I have asked for 480? Right? She's never, she is always, and it's just human nature, she is always gonna think she should have asked for more. So that's not good. That's off the table. We're not saying yes, okay? You would hit right. the two others. A polite no, no. I'm fine with you doing that. Because you can always come back to her later and going, hey, I got an idea I wanna get your opinion on. Right? And you're like, man, mm -hmm. that's rude. It's not rude. I want her to love her purchase. And if you go, yeah, yeah, I'll give you that off, she's gonna, it's just people are pessimistic. So polite no is okay. The other thing you can say, and you said it, is what would you like to remove? If you don't want to go down that road or you technically don't have things you could remove, okay, you don't have to go down that road. Here's another way you could do it on this. You could go, you could go, I get it, I understand. I want to make this happen for you. We can't take the 280 off. If it's important to you and you want to win with your accountant, right? Or if you're anything like me, if you're anything like most people, having another discussion with your accountant is gonna cost you 280 bucks. Ugh, been there. Right now you're like, whoa, Matt gets it, right? Matthew gets it, right? If you're anything like me, in my discussions with my accountant, we'll, we'll bill 30 minutes on $500 an hour talking about 280 bucks. How is it that the accountant can't figure that out? I get it, so here's what I wanna do, okay? I just wanna let you know we don't discount. So you can be totally confident that you're getting the, the right price, okay? If it is something where you wanna win with the account, or you want s something from me, um, you just, whatever it is, I get it, full transparency. I'm, I'll, I'll be happy, if you really need 280 bucks, I'll be happy to move some stuff around and I I'll cover 280 of it for you. I'll figure that out on my end. If you can do this for me. If you can agree to just, once you love it, once the security software is installed, once everything goes smooth, if you can just take your phone and point it at your face and just record what you like best about working with me, how easy it was to work with me, how great the service is, and how much you like the solution, if you could just text that to me on my mobile, I'm not even gonna write it in the contract, but if we could just have a, you know, agreement here, I I I'll pick up the 280, right? Now, look at where you've left her. You've been, hey, we're firm on the price. But then you've also said, listen, you're a rational business person, as am I. And I get it that your accountant wants to take their pound of flesh and look like a hero. I also get it that if you go back to your accountant and say they can't do it, you're gonna run up more bill and more time and the juice might not even be worth the squeeze, right? That being said, I'll pick up, the, like you're just gonna be the good guy and say, I'll pick up the 280. I'll move it from some marketing, I'll skip a couple lunches, whatever it is, I'll move money around and I'll take care of it, okay? But I just wanna make something clear here. This is not a discount, because we don't do that. If I'm gonna pick up the 280, I'm gonna ask you for something, and I just wanna be crystal clear about what I'm gonna ask for. Once you get the product installed and once you love it, I'm gonna ask you to pick up your phone and point it at your face and say that you love it. As long as you're okay with me calling you and asking you that once I over deliver for you, I'll pick up the 280. What do you want to do, right? And now you've given her, she's probably going to go, you know what, don't even sweat it on the 280. You do what you say you're going to do, Matt. 
um, I'll give you the testimonial either way and I'll take care of things with my accountant, right? But that way, I never want you to retreat back into a discount, not because I don't want you to discount. It's because discounting avails nothing. Discounting only hurts us. If you work in sales and you need to make twice as much money as you do right now to really enjoy your life, you've really only got three options. Option number one, you can continue to work your butt off in the job you have right now, hoping for some sort of miracle to happen, where you start taking home double the money while doing things the exact same way you do them right now. That's pretty unlikely. Or option number two, you could look for another job at a totally different company, hoping you're gonna catch some sort of once in a lifetime wave where sales just seem to flow your way. All right, again, Highly unlikely, and we both know, waves in sales, well, they don't last very long. Or option number three, you can click the button here and get instant access to a simple, straightforward sales process that will help you take home twice as much money as you do right now while putting in far less effort than you do today. My name's Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Easton University, the most effective sales coaching system in the world. If you click the button, you're gonna see how our interactive sales coaching portal in weekly live coaching sessions with me will help you double your income within 60 days. Easton University is more than an interactive sales coaching portal. It's more than being able to ask me questions in a live setting every single week. It's your future and you and your future are worth it. Click the button, I will see you on the other side. Your life is about to get a lot better. Click through now.